And so for me, again, as I've kind of evaluated this for our, for our own catchers is, what are we facing more often? We're facing borderline pitches that we want to get for strikes. So if I can get 20 more strikes a game, and I maybe throw out one less runner, I think 20 plus strikes is going to work a lot more in my favor than that one base runner that I may be a little bit of a disadvantage to throw out. Um, another part of this too is whether your knee is up or down is this whole like working from the ground up. So again, if you watch baseball, watch softball, and you'll see some, some catchers doing this, actually starting, and I will not do the squat because I will not get back up again if I do, but so starting with my glove, actually loose arm, loose wrist, and as the pitch is coming in, I'm actually in an upward, um, I'm coming up to catch rather than being set and squared and just sticking it, I'm actually like in that kind of smooth process of bringing it up into the zone. So here's a video. So again, first move is down, sets a target down on the ground, and now I'm bringing it back up and in. Now this pitch was probably a strike regardless, but this catcher's kind of motion and glove work, and you see again with the one knee down, he's really able to get down into that position. 